welcome to the first vlog for the 24 Hours of Lemons event here in New Zealand. Uh, my name's Jakob Simonson and this is Matt Oliver. Thank you. We're going to take you through a little bit of a step-by-step -step of what to do to get your lemon or shrimp rocks onto the track for the New Zealand round. Uh, first of all, a little bit of history. Uh, 24 Hours of Lemons uh, originates, obviously, 24 Hours of Le Mans, and it's been bastardised just a little by a good friend of ours, Jay Lamb, over in the USA. They're running events over there. They have been for about 10 years now. Uh, they're on to, oh God, I don't even know what number, but they have got an absolute cubic crap load of events under their belts for the last 10 years. Last year we went to Australia and picked up the event. Craig Claridge and Sean Herbert, the Supreme Commander, got it all together and bought the rights for Australia, but we can't let them have all the fun. So we've now got it in New Zealand and uh, we're going to take you through a technical review of, first of all, how to buy your car, what you need to do to it, and technically what you need to do to get yourself on the track. What's it going to cost you to get your car and yourself into the race at 24 hours of level? Well, obviously it's going to cost you some money, but this is the cheapest motorsport on the planet. Matt, what are we going for? Well, first off, you need to buy and prepare a car for less than $1,000-ish, excluding any safety items. But we can be bribed though. Next, $460 to enter your car and $675 per driver. So what exactly are we getting for that $675, Jacob? Well, all of your entry fees go towards paying for the track for the whole weekend, all the safety gear that we have at the track, so the recovery crew, the ambulances, they can haul you back to the pits or to the hospital if you bugger it up completely. Uh, we pay for all the transponders in car, one-way radio system within each car as well as so each team is issued with a radio that we can chat to all the drivers while they're on the track, just for your safety and to get you back in once you've buggered it all up royally. So, who can enter 24 hours of lemons in New Zealand? Well, if you're over 18, you've got a current driver's licence, all you need to do is apply for a Motorsport New Zealand race licence. You can do that via our website or jump on MSNZ, they'll take you through it. Matt, take us through some of the safety features for our drivers. Okay, first few requirements is going to be a helmet. You've got a couple of options. You can go to a motorcycle shop, get something like this for about a hundred bucks, or the next step up is a $500 proper in-car helmet, which has arms, posts, and a few other nice bits and pieces, and is a lot more comfortable. Um, next is going to be your overalls or a proper fire retardant suit. Um, if you choose to run overalls from a safety shop, you can get them for about 60 bucks. Make sure the label says 100% cotton, and do get some elastic bands in the cuffs or you'll have to take them up all weekend long, which is going to be rather unpleasant. Um, another nice to have is a pair of shoes, 100 bucks. Much nicer to be in for a prolonged period in the car. Do you have to have gloves, Matt? No, gloves aren't a requirement. Okay, so requirements are definitely helmet, which is certified, and cotton overalls. Yep, or a proper flame suit. Awesome. Okay, let's have a look at what else you need. You reckon that's a hammer? No. Uh, what is it then? Spanner, just like you. Yeah. Well, like a thousand bucks isn't a whole lot of money to spend on a car. If you've got to put safety stuff all over it, what else can you spend your money on? Okay, so your thousand dollars is to buy a car. Any safety equipment you can spend on outside of the thousand dollar limit all day long, as long as it's in the interest of safety. But there's a few things that we require you have. First off is going to be a roll cage. The minimum that we require is a half cage with side intrusion bars. There's some drawings on our websites to show you a rough idea of what they look like, and we're going to be putting one in here, so you'll get an idea in the coming weeks. Next is you must have a one-piece molded seat, like these JMXs, or whatever you prefer, as long as it's a one-piece molded, not with a flexible back or anything funny going on. Um, I'd recommend that you put sliding rails in so that you can adjust it for each driver, but note that your sliding rails must lock on both sides. They can't lock on one like a typical seat would. What about bearings and struts and all that sort of stuff? I mean, brakes? Yep, so if there's anything that's going to cause your car to have a wheel come off or something like that, get it replaced. So we've done a wheel bearing on this and we'll deem it as being outside of the $1,000 limit because no one wants a wheel coming off going around the track. We have fun for the day, so make sure you're safe. Brakes, you're welcome to do rotors and pads, 
as long as you're not bolting on big calipers off the front of a R32 GTR or going a bit haywire with things. That'll make it stop, won't make it go. Yeah, but fairness and, you know, not going over the top. So what about homologating the cage? Yep, that's a good point. Your cage must be homologated. Um, talk to Motorsport New Zealand, we're happy to guide you through the process with that. Very easy to do. And you'll have a logbook for the car as well, also issued by Motorsport New Zealand. And does it have to be road registered? No, your car doesn't have to be road registered, but if it's not road registered, bring it on a trailer. If it isn't, if it is road registered, drive it to the track. Fine. And what about tyres? Can we run, what can we run on tyres? Tyres must be a road legal tyre and not a semi-slope. So we've got some road legal tyres on at the moment, we'll probably run with those. What about snow chains? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> it's not an ice route. So, we're going to answer a few of the FAQs which are on the website, but we thought we'd do a quick fire round for you, just to get a few of them out of the way. First of all, all about fun. So theme your car. Make sure you get the funkiest, weirdest, wackiest idea out there. Dress up your team, dress up your lemon or your car. It could be a unicorn, it can be a whatever you like. Jump on the website, have a bit of a look around for some inspiration. Uh, a really good website is actually the 24hoursoflemons.com, uh, which is the American races that they've been holding there for the last 10 years. There's a few very, very good ideas on that. And you can plagiarise them or make up your own. Come up with something funky, we'll probably give you some extra laps and you'll be uh, well ahead of the race. What else, they get, what else can they do with their car, Matt? Well, your car will be eligible to compete in any motorsport event happening in New Zealand. Um, hill climbs, bent sprints, dual sprints, autocrosses, track days, whatever you please. And any other Lemons events that we run in the future. Oh, yeah, well that's if they don't wreck the car first of course. Well yeah, don't wreck the car. And if it's road legal, you can still drive it to work on Monday. Beautiful. Yeah, you'd look good in that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you turn up in a car that's obviously worth more than a thousand bucks, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably beat you up a little bit and penalise you and you'll probably be laughed at by the other competitors who, uh, who have dressed their car up to look stupid. Uh, but we will accept bribes and uh, the odd bottle of scotch doesn't go astray. Uh, or what was it the French in Australia gave us? Uh, some, oh, it was some cheap, nasty French wine, wasn't it? I think it was. And some croissant. Yeah. I think there was cheese. Oh, then the breakfast was the cheese. good one. Yeah. yeah, it was a good one. Uh, you can have between five and nine drivers as well, so the reason we say that is that uh, you will fatigue, obviously, a lot of amateurs will be driving this, uh, not that any of you are amateurs, God forbid, uh, but there will be a lot of people who have never raced before uh, in these cars, non-contact. So the big thing for us is safety. Uh, if there are any drivers caught, uh, obviously, crashing in or diving in or, you know, curving each other or doing any crazy stuff out on the track, You'll both be pulled in, not pulled off. Uh, that's a completely different sport. Uh, and we'll get you into the pits and what will we do to them? I don't know. A children's jigsaw puzzle is always entertaining yeah. to watch people do. Uh, yeah. Or strap them to the roof and make, make them apologise. Make them apologise. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, it's, an endurance, it's an endurance event, not a, uh, not a speed event. So uh, you're out there to last the distance. It's done over three days, about four or five hours on the Friday about eight to nine hours on the Saturday, and another eight to nine hours on the Sunday, sort of depending on the track and the weather and kangaroos and snakes and, oh wait, that's Australia. Yeah, possums. What have we got here? Possums? Possums. What else have we got? Well, see, the Aussies like the possums, though. You know, oh. they don't Oh, okay. We well, can. We might have to let some loose. Yeah, extra Jeez. points. Points for the possums. Fundraising is encouraged as well, so if you want to fundraise to get a little bit more money together, to add some extra bits on your lemon that we don't see, well, I guess you'll see them, but I won't. Uh, then yeah, you're more than welcome to do some fundraising, it's encouraged, get out there and uh, earn some money for your team. Uh, any questions or to get more inspiration, jump on the website, you'll find that listed there, right there. There it, there it goes. Well, not much to do in there, is there? No, we're prepping it for a roll cage, there's nothing to do here, unless you don't want to come through the front struts and not want to clear a bit of stuff out of the way for who was doing it, so, that's done. What? You got a fast car. I wanted to get to anywhere Maybe we can make a deal Maybe together we can be somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me and myself, I got nothing to prove You got a fast car I got a plan to get us out of here Been working in the convenience store Managed to save just a little bit of money Won't ever drive too far Just across the border and into the city Doing like a broke at Joss And finally seeing what it means to be living I remember when you were driving Driving in your 
your car Speed so fast it felt like I was drunk City lights laying out before us And your arms felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belong I, I had a feeling I 